guys, welcome back to Spelling and Word Study. My name is Mrs. Rhodes, and I'm here to get you started on Unit 15, the AL ending. Please take a second to gather your materials. You will need your blue book open to page 95. You will also need some colorful pens, markers, or crayons. Remember, whatever I mark on my board, you should be marking on your page. Please save room for a key as well. You will notice that I already went through the list and used a red line to break our words into syllables. I also used a green check mark to mark off the stressed syllable. That's the part of the word we say a little louder and a little stronger. If you'd like to pause the video for a second to mark up your own list, please go ahead and do that. All right, so for the last several weeks, we have been learning about long vowels. We know that long vowels often show up at the end of an open syllable. Before that, we learned about um, short vowels, and we learned that short vowels often show up in the middle of a closed syllable. Well, this week, we're going to review both. We are going to have a bunch of words here that start with an open syllable and words that start with a closed syllable. So we will hear a mix of long and short vowel sounds. You'll notice that all of our words this week end with the AL pattern. AL says O, right? It's the unstressed syllable and we already know that the vowel sound in an unstressed uh, syllable often sounds like uh, okay? So uh, before we talk about that anymore though, let's read our list. Please repeat after me. Brutal, dental, equal, fatal, final, legal, local, Mammal, metal, pedal, rival, sandal, signal, total, and vital. Okay, so notice all of those words end with the all sound. Now in third grade, you learned um, that many words end with L-E. That's very common in words like bottle and handle, right? That all sound is often represented by an L-E. But what I want to draw your attention to this week is the A-L pattern. As if our language isn't confusing enough, it turns out that we have several ways to make that all sound at the end of a word. So my guess is that you're already pretty good with the L-E, and so this week, I want you to memorize the words that use A-L to make the all sound, okay? There's not a lot of them. These are the most common ones here. So if you memorize these words, you're in good shape. Okay, I want you to choose a color and I want you to draw a box around the BRU in brutal. There's an open syllable that ends with a U and it makes the long U sound. Remember, long U can say OO or U. So we have brutal, we also have equal, there's an open syllable, fatal, I'm going to put that little line there to remind myself that those vowels are long, final has a long I, legal has a long E, local has a long O, rival has a long I, Total has a long O, and vital has a long I. So all of these words that have a blue box start 
with an open syllable. And we know that open syllable means long vowel. All right, choose another color. And now let's find our closed syllables. So the D-E-N in dental, there's our shorty. The M-A-M -M in mammal, there's our short A. The M-E-T in metal. The P-E-D in pedal. The S-A-N in sandal. And the S-I-G in signal. All of these words have it, um, a closed syllable. That vowel is tucked in between consonants. Okay. So orange box equals closed syllable, which means all of those words, all of those syllables will contain a short vowel. Okay, now I also want you to notice that on our list we have a few homophones. Remember, homophones are words that sound the same but they're spelled differently and have different meanings. Have you spotted any on our list? All right, good. So hopefully you notice that the word pedal is a homophone. This kind of pedal is part of a bike. You put your foot on the pedal, okay? But there's another kind of pedal that's spelled with a T, and that would be the parts of a flower, the colorful parts, right? There's a third kind of pedal that's spelled like this, and that means to sell, okay? So in the olden days, there might be traveling salesmen who would, they were also called peddlers because they would travel from house to house selling things to people. So pedal, pedal, and pedal are all homophones. Three words that sound the same, but are spelled differently and have totally different meanings. Here's another homophone right here. Metal is a type of material, so iron, um, zinc, aluminum, steel, those are all types of metal, right? Metal is often magnetic, metal doesn't burn. Um, so metal, I'm just going to say um, a material like tin or iron, okay? But there's another kind of metal, M-E-D-A-L, and that would be like, you know, you compete in um, a gymnastics competition or in the Olympics and you win the gold medal or the silver medal. There's also another kind of metal that's spelled like this, M-E-D-D-L-E, and that means to butt in, right? You meddle in other people's business. So down here, green circle equals homophone. All right, one more thing I want to do with you right now. As we talk about the meanings of the different words, I want to put the part of speech next to them. Because one thing you might notice is that the words that end with A-L are usually adjectives, okay? They're usually describing words. So, brutal is an adjective, right? If you took a final exam and it was really, really hard, you'd say, oh my gosh, that was brutal, right? Or if your car broke down and you had to walk three miles in 100 degree weather, you'd be like, oh, that walk was brutal. So brutal means very hard, okay? 
okay? Hard as in difficult. Dental is also an adjective, and that has to do with the teeth. So I'm going to say of the teeth. So if you have to get dental work done, maybe you have a cavity, maybe you have a cracked tooth, um, if you're getting dental work done, you're getting work done on your teeth. Equal is another describing word, right? It could be used to describe how much ice cream you got versus how much ice cream I got. We could hold up our bowls and say, look at, we got equal amount. So equal means the same. Fatal is another describing word. Fatal means deadly. So if you hear about a car crash on the news and they say that it was fatal, a fatal crash, that means that somebody died. Final is another describing word. It's an adjective, right? Your final exam is your last exam. The final step is the last step. Legal is also a describing word. If something is legal, it means it's allowed by law. So it is legal for parents to leave their 14-year-old kid home for a few hours. Mom can run to the store. If you're 14, that's legal. You're allowed to stay home. It's not legal to leave a four-year-old home alone. That's, that's against the law. It's not safe. Um, local is an adjective, right? Local means close to home. So when I need to buy groceries, I'm gonna go to the local supermarket, right? There's a supermarket right down the road. I'm not gonna drive an hour to go to the grocery store, that's silly, right? So the thing, most of the things I need are local. My library, my police department, my gas stations, they are all local, close to home. Now, a mammal is not an adjective. A mammal is a thing, so I'm going to put an N there because a mammal is a type of animal, right? There are certain things that make mammals different from other animals. Number one, they have fur. Number two, they give birth to live babies instead of laying eggs. Number three, uh, the moms can make milk for their babies, okay? So all of those characteristics would make an animal a mammal instead of a fish or a bird or a reptile. Metal can be an adjective, right? If you're describing something like, here, put, the, put that in the metal basket versus the wicker basket or the plastic basket. So metal can describe a type of material. But pedal is a noun. That's a thing you put your foot on, right? Rival is also a noun. Your rival is your competition, okay? So um, your rival is the person you compete against. So let's say you are the best um, yo-yo player in your whole school but now there's another kid who thinks he's even better than you and he's trying to beat your high score you two are rivals a sandal well that's a noun right that's something you wear on your feet a signal is also a noun right like a stop sign that's a traffic signal it tells you what to do Total is also a noun, right? When we talk about the total, it's the, um, once we add everything up. But vital is an adjective because vital means very important. Uh, 
all right? So if you are allergic to bees or you are allergic to peanut butter, it is vital that you carry an EpiPen with you so that if you get stung or you eat something by accident, you can use the EpiPen on your leg um, and that will save you. So it's really, really important. It's vital that you carry your EpiPen with you. If you have asthma and you're prone to asthma attacks, it's vital that you carry your inhaler around with you, okay? Um, so if something's vital, it's just very, very important. Um, when you go to the emergency room, the first thing they do is they check your vital signs. They make sure that you still have a pulse. They make sure that you're breathing, that they can hear your heart. Those are your vital signs. Those are very, very important. If there's no pulse and no breathing, you're not alive. So it's really important to check those things. All right, so quickly over here, anything that I put an ADJ next to is gonna be an adjective. Anything I put an N next to is going to be a noun. So adjective and noun. Okay, there's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about. When you get to page 90, well, first of all, on 99, you're gonna have more practice with homophones. But on 98, you're gonna learn a new root, okay? The Latin root that you're practicing this week is voc and voc. Anytime you see voc or voc in a word, they're gonna have something to do with calling or using your voice. So for instance, here's a word you probably know, vocal, right? In your throat, you have vocal cords. The vocal cords are what help you use your voice. They make sound, right? If a person is very vocal, that means they use their voice to speak out about things that are important to them. You're going to learn about words like advocate. If you advocate for someone, you use your voice to defend them. Um, to revoke is to call back. So if somebody gets their driver's license, but then they get into accidents and they're not being safe, the government can revoke or call back their license. Um, and there's a lot of others here as well. So good luck with all that, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.